What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat, we are here today, possibly, I guess since everybody's at max level, there's not a whole lot that I actually feel like doing with this LP at the moment. I don't know if we should do some bonus missions, or if I should just wrap this thing up, because there are a lot of exciting series in the future coming up. I suppose what we'll do is, since this location still has a shrine, we'll go ahead and do the Tyrant Alert. And I think that'll take care of business for us here. Let me have a look and make sure that everybody is still equipped. They are indeed. The only reason that I ask is because I started a mission already and it crashed. You'll see here that the date does not correspond, so we lost our bonus deployment when the game crashed, which is just loverly. It fills me with the happy feelings of Christmas. And let's do our briefing. Commander, the hive mind is throwing its mightiest weapons at us. A hive tyrant leads an infestation into this region, consuming everything it encounters. Our librarians fear its goal is to establish a major new hive. This would accelerate the Hive Fleet's activities, and could well doom the whole planet. Exterminate the Hive Tyrant before it can nest. Let's do it. Let's annihilate that sucker. Let's get in here and just punch it in the face repeatedly until it's like, No more! Please stop! And it evacuates our planets. So that we can continue recruiting people to send off into war and die. Because that's what the Imperium does. Also, we train people to be ridiculous like Xeno-haters. Gonna skip that one because we've already seen it like nine times now. I think near the end they just started to recycle those cinematics so that there would be something right before you jumped in. Or maybe you accidentally, you know... Oh god. So I've got them out of harm's way. I'm going to teleport him in. And what I need from Cyrus is actually to get rid of that spawning... What are you doing? Why are you going around that way? Oh wow, we gotta move here. So let's blow that up. So there's number one. I need Avidus back over here. They are hitting us hard and they are hitting us fast right in the beginning. This is going to be really, really rowdy. Let's see. We're actually going to have to blow a lot of our bonus stuff right here in the beginning. Um, let's get them out of harm's way, or at least throwing a bomb on one of these things so that this doesn't continue to happen over and over and over again. We are losing people at an insane rate right now. So down goes that. Yeah, I don't really know what they want me to do right now. I'm pretty much hosed. It's very difficult to have you, them, like, jump you straight out of the gate with no cover like that. And then expect you to be alright. So we've already lost Cyrus. Drop a turret in. Yeah, do something. Do anything. We are out of medkits, so there's nothing I can do there. Oh good, we have a Zoanthrope up here too. Making my life that much better. Let's go ahead and put rounds on the Zoanthrope, hopefully killing it, and sending the rest into disarray. That should give like a synaptic snap on everything. And kind of snap their little pyramid of minds, and we should be okay. We'll try and get Cyrus back up now. Okay, so Cyrus is back up and in. I don't see a whole lot of ways that could have gone any better just because of the way they deploy you. We do have a hive down here. So we probably want to take care of that. Let's go ahead and start making a perimeter, maybe. Start putting grenades on some of these little rippers or whatever the hell they're called. Alright, so there's a few more dead. Force commander needs to be in melee mode. God, Devastator Squad's completely annihilated, but then he's running off in that direction too. Suppose I could put him up in that building. But even so, that was a really nasty flush out. I need to blow up some of these buildings down here. We've got a spawner that's going to create a non-stop problem for us until I get rid of it. And some synaptic generators, just to make life even more difficult. We'll take them out, and unfortunately they've been rooted out by RNG there. Have them pull back, get a bit of their stealthy powers back, their stealth goo. Oh, 
All right, so we're, we're suitably dug in at this point. Let me actually consider... Yeah, I don't think that's a bad choice right now. We'll go ahead and call in a orbital strike on this first hive so that we can at least get our kind of boots in the stirrup. Okay, so the hive is now down. And that's bought us a wee bit of time to play with. At least a little bit of breathing space. Let's go ahead and take Cyrus, and we're going to try and bulldoze the remainder. Let's get rid of that synaptic generator. So we stuck a bomb on the side of that. I don't see any supply points, although we could cut to the right and take that shrine as we had intended to do. So let's do that first. Oh, there's a supply crate right there. If it was a snake, it would have bit me violently. I'm going to take Cyrus up ahead, and what we'll do is we'll kind of ferret out this region, see what's waiting for us, what isn't waiting for us. And actually, I haven't even I haven't even gotten that CP under our control yet. Let's have a look and see what we're going to contend with at this point. There is what beast? I don't see anything. They see it, and I don't see it. That makes me nervous. Well, I'm going to leave them to do their thing. Doesn't look too bad over here. So yeah, let's make a push in this direction. So we're going to put them tackies. Get yourself up and behind that wall. Avidus will be in there. We'll send the big FC over here. And he's going to try and get into a fight with these guys. They should be able to finish off that small squad fairly easily. What's going on over here? All kinds of weird stuff going on. Like Silent Wrath there. So we got ourselves a new sniper rifle. Oh, Force Commander, get in here and help. He's still throwing grenades at us nonstop. Why are you closing the gap like that? I am really starting to get sick of your shit, Avidus. You don't need to be point blank to use an LMG. Like, seriously. I just don't know anymore, guys. Getting severely frustrated with the AI's inability to, like, actually lay down ranged fire. He had clear line of sight from all ways that he was firing, and I don't know. Apparently we lost Cyrus to something. He should have been standing still, so I don't know how he got figured out. Just surrounded by screw-ups here. He shouldn't have been losing energy while he sat there, and these things I don't think are sentient enough. Once again, fire a ranged round. What are you doing? Killing me here with this stuff. Absolutely driving me crazy. Alright, so now let's see if maybe we can throw a grenade into the back lines of these. There we go, kill off a couple more. Also, blow up some foliage. Nobody likes those trees anyways, they're always looking at us suspiciously. I'd also like to know potential locations that I'm receiving grenades from. There are enemies in and over here, but I think we should be able to handle them alright. Especially if I just teleport into their midst. I'm going to put him into stealthy mode. What we'll do is we'll blow up some of these over here. Alright, so once we get rid of that, I'm going to pull him back over to here. And I think I'm just going to have them hold the line while Big FC here gets himself tore up and also runs into a wall ineffectually. There's too much fire and too many mines coming from this way to really feasibly adjust my lines right now. So I think what we'll do is we're actually going to pull this fight back and out since that seems like the safest resolution here. Let's also put some grenades on the back of that maybe. There we go. That'll kill off a couple of those little rippers.
put him into wacky smacky mode with extra wacky. We should be able to finish off most of those guys. Let's send Cyrus and who else lost a guy? Nobody? Just Cyrus? Okay, we'll send Cyrus back to the pod. And is that the Hive Tyrant right there? Okay, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. Although we might consider just... Oh, I hit the wrong button. My bad. Let's see if maybe I can get Avidus to right here, and if I can... Maybe he can just drop a bunch of artillery strikes on this dude. He can. Alright, fantastic. Well, we're gonna deal with it the long-range cowardly way then. He doesn't appear to be... well, he's immune to artillery strikes from what I can tell. Well, I absolutely don't want to deal with the Hive Tyrant right now because that'll probably end the mission or something of that nature. Let's send the Force Commander back in and we'll test their resolve. Yeah, he's still throwing gas sacks at us from ridiculous distances. I'm just going to send everybody in for now and hopefully they can get back into this corner. And if and when they get back into this corner, we should be able to start just a long round of acquiring territory here. Actually, I'm going to put everybody up in a building. There are just way too many enemies running around for us to safely do anything else. With you, I'm going to send you off down to handle this synaptic generator. So let's plant a bomb right there while they handle all these enemies. They should be reasonably safe up in the reaches of that building. We'll blow that bad boy up. Okay, so that plan worked out okay. Essentially what I may do is I may just dance people in between these buildings the entire mission since the Tyranids are putting up a ridiculous preemptive fight. Good, we got a supply rescrub right there, so we've got a bunch more stuff to rely on. Most importantly, I've got more things that Cyrus can throw around to destroy some of these support buildings. Oh my. Even more foes to contend with. Loverly. Hopefully we capture this thing before it's too late. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. Good. Alright, so that building's now been taken. I accomplished one of those extra little goals that I wanted to do throughout the course of the game. We've captured most of the objectives. As I recall, there's only a few buildings we've missed over the course of the playthrough. Alright, I'm not comfortable with pulling people out just yet. What I may do is let's teleport him down to here. We'll shift Avidus into that building. We'll vacate the premises there. And just get everybody into positions of an advantageous nature if we can pull it off. Threw a spore sack into the middle of us. Oh my god. That thing is scarier than I thought it was. And it just shot us out of the window. That's good. You guys go get Avidus up. This is not going so well. I may actually have to have certain aspects of my group retreat. Or at least fight, like, specifically around this building here. The one big downside, I think, of this playthrough is that I think with Tarkus we actually have a taunt. And setting him up to be my melee character may have been the smarter move. I wish the Force Commander ended up with a taunt. I He doesn't appear to have one. Get everybody else back into buildings. Our downside now being that I'm completely out of support abilities, unfortunately. But I don't think there's that many enemies still around. So that synaptic generator over there looks like our only primary target remaining. I may sweep around and see if possibly we could get some more gear just to stretch this episode out a little bit longer. Because I know how you guys like the extra long episodes. 
I guess we'll just get going on this guy right here. Let's have Big FC jump over here and start punching this thing. Try and get rid of it. Maybe put a few more plasma rounds on that thing. Oh good, we managed to dodge that. We'll take this position as well. And that first assault, wow. What can I even say about that first assault? That first assault was pretty hectic when we first deployed. They hit you hard straight up front there. There's not a whole lot of ways to modify your strategy. I suppose where we dropped in, there's a building right there. And I could have loaded everybody into it, but even so... Hey, don't destroy that yet. It's not time. Okay, I told you to charge through that building, but I guess you're not going to do it. Walk through it. That's cool. Charging, walking, whatever, just as long as you destroy the building. I will accept either or. It's not Jeopardy. We don't need anything, like, super specific. We don't need, like, what is charging. We can just take charging or walking. Any type of forward movement that knocks down that wall. Let's send the remainder of our troops off this way and see if there's any more enemies to contend with. Maybe there's something else we can kill, get ourselves a few more pieces of gear, maybe? Or some enemies down and in here. I think Force Commander can handle them. Give me a sniper round on that Zoanthrope so that it's not in our face any longer. You guys need to stop, uh, stop accomplishing your objectives. I know that's the exact opposite of what I tell you guys to do all the time, but I don't want you to accomplish your objectives. I want you to ignore them for now. I realize that's probably not Codex Astartes approved. But we don't need to be getting our Codex Astartes on when I'm trying to get my Codex of Parties on. That's a lesser known Codex. Most people don't have it. I mean, you've got to be one of those elite sects. The Ultra Means, they try and hide it from everybody. They really do. Because they like to be the only ones like in the know. They're kind of jerks like that. But there are extra codices that we can call upon. Nothing else it looks like. Actually, I don't think there's too many enemies left. There's some guys up there. But yeah, I guess this is going to be kind of a minor sweep and clear. Let's just finish off the mission, I guess. I Usually they've got a whole map that's just chock-a-block with stuff for us to just, like, brutally annihilate. But, in this case... Is there no end to the horrors we face? Only in their deaths. Or our own. Yep, there will be an end very shortly. It's called that big purple area on the map. And once we get there, your lives will come to an abrupt stop. You ever think about that? How video game characters just, like, cease to exist when the game's over? I read an article about that one time by a guy. Yeah, we're going to get a terrible score on this one. I was going to say, our squads got knocked out like hell right when that thing started up. Not going to be a lot of bonus deployments to go around. Yep, no bonus XP, just a bunch of gear. I don't really know why I'm actively seeking out gear anyways. We should probably... Victory has its own price. Speak your mind, Thaddeus. With each victory, I can feel more and more of myself slipping away. Continue. In battle, it used to be a great rush, a thrill. Now more and more it's become... Purer. Simpler. Yes, both of those. I go to a place where my spirit and body are one. A perfect weapon honed by powers far beyond me. You are leaving behind the remnants of your life before the chapter found you. A great honor but melancholy. And not without costs. You are not one of them anymore. Them. Humans. Men. No. I'm not quite one of them anymore. You are purging yourself of a weakness, Thaddeus. But there are more to come. You cling to hope, which just brings despair. We are weapons. There is the Emperor, and there is war. Nothing more. There is the chapter, Avitus. And its secrets? And its lies? Who ever heard of a chapter that has forgotten its Primarch? We would sooner forget our own name. There is something dark and hidden there. And look at Captain Thule, a shadow of his former self who can barely stay conscious for a single battle. That's what heroism gets you. War is all we are. 
Killing is all we are good for. The rest is delusion. Maybe. But I will cling to hope for a while longer, I think. And if the secrets of the chapter cost me that, well, I will still stand with my brothers. All of them. As will we all. As will we all. Man hug moment. Anyways, there's a lot of feelings flying around this chapter. Too many feelings. I'm used to my space marines just being like bald faced killers. We were like talking about stuff that matters to us. Eh, you know, let's just get back to the killing. I'm gonna give him the new teleport pack that we had because it increases his movement speed and he is not very fast in his current form. He is actually quite, quite slow, and I don't mean that as an insult. When you call somebody slow, they tend to get very, very offended, but that is not my intention. I guess I'll give all of this stuff to the librarian, even though there's no point. There's not any, like, alternate advancement or anything for my characters. The armor that we got as the mission completion is the Undying Aura of the Primarchs. It's not very good. It gives a lot of accuracy. Let me have a look here at what these guys are rocking. He's still doing the scales of the Salamander. This would give him more ac- oh, he can't even use it. That's only for the Force Commander. Okay, well, never mind then. I didn't want to use it on anybody anyways. And this one is for Cyrus. Let's see if it's better than what he's got at the moment. It gives him a lot more ranged damage. Lowers his accuracy, but... Well, it increases his DPS, or his, it increases his ranged damage anyways, by 40 points. So I suppose it's probably the better choice for him. That's about all we have to equip right now, I think. He's still got Name and Silence. But I just don't think it's quite... I mean, Name and Silence is pretty much the best weapon we've picked up for him the entire playthrough, so... I think what I'll do is I'll take the time off the episode right now. Look at that infestation. That's what I like to see. We keep those ones alive just for blood sport like Predator. We run around collecting their skulls. But other than that, they keep, we keep them on hunting preserves, those Tyranids. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Dawn of War 2. We may finish the game in the next episode, we may not. I may try and do all of these, or I may just kind of make space for a new series. There's a lot of things that I'd like to cover in the indie genre coming up, and this is not exactly an indie title, so it's a bit of a break for me. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time after I contemplate all of those little things, and take care out there, everybody.